My great-grandmother lived her life long before there was the internet or Pinterest or Instagram, and oh my gosh, I would love to know what that woman would have done with Pinterest. She loved to make things. I am positive that she would have owned a copy of this book. I found mine at an estate sale, and it's been riding around in my car ever since. It is 365 Easy Scrap Craft Ideas, a Pack of Fun Booklet. Grandma subscribed to Pack of Fun for years, and I remember being a little kid and looking through, wishing I had the things and the tools to make the project. We have piggy banks of distinction. I don't know if you can read that. There's one for my Cadillac and one for my mink. And it's a way to elevate plain glass piggy banks. I found it funny that these piggy banks that we make fun of in the thrift stores, apparently they were a thing back in the day. I also love this pattern for fabric pictures on plates. At an estate sale earlier this year, I found a set of these plates and I should have bought them, but I didn't. And now that I've got the pattern, as much of a pattern as that is, I can make my own. And I'm going to make my own. There are bottle cap ashtrays, desk sets. Just, I would love to know how many of these things that Great Grandma actually made, because I am sure that she did. I know she did candles and milk cartons and I kind of want to make a colonial lady with her ruffles out of cupcake liners or a wishing well party favor. A peanut with short pipe cleaner legs and arms and a burnt paper match attached near the top of a lighted candle. Okay, that sounds like a fire hazard. I'll skip that one. We have necklaces made out of facial tissue, animal bones, wood fiber lays. Gather long strips of wood fiber by using a needle and thread to make a running stitch. Sure strips and twist the shirred pieces into a ball. String balls for a lay. I've got the shirring part, but... What is wood fiber that we're using here? I'm going to make myself a sock elephant. I have the socks to make a sock elephant. I have the sock monkey out in my sewing room that my grandma made me. And this one, I love this idea to pieces. You make a pony out of a nail keg and then apply, apply, attach casters to the legs. Aside from the fact that I don't have anyone the right age in my household, and I'm sure that nail kegs are no longer a thing, I want one. It's a cigar box garden. And paper and stone pictures. Okay, think of all of the people on Pinterest and Instagram right now making adorable pictures with the little smooth round river rocks. The over, or a planter out of an old slipper. I tell you, the overlap between Pinterest and these old craft books just fascinates me. Chicken wire hat stand. Okay, we've got ladies doing that right now with trash cans from the Dollar Tree. I've seen it. Hot dish pads from foil. We can reshape our bamboo rake. I like the garden ruler. Marking the measurements on the ruler seems amazingly clever. I bet that's on Pinterest. Three entire pages of different neckerchief slides. And bark and moss pictures. Wish I'd seen that one back when my children were just a little bit younger. Growing grass on blotters. That's... Okay, I'll be honest, I do not know what blotter paper actually is, but I like the concept, and I would have totally done that if my children were younger when I had thought of it, if I had thought of it. So this is 365 Easy Scrap Craft Ideas, a pack of fun booklet, and I know I saw a date in here somewhere, 1959. 
So this would have been when Grandma was in her mid-60s. And I am sure, like I said, that she had a copy of this. If she didn't, she had just about everything else that the Paco Fun Corporation put out. And I love looking through these and wondering what she might have made. I know I saw a lot of her projects when I was growing up. In the 70s, she passed away in, I think, 1981. And I know she has to have made so many things that I didn't see. Thank you so much for flipping through this with me. I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle. And I will be back with more videos and tutorials soon.